Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to send a Slack message from Salesforce Flow. The prerequisites for this is Slack for service should be set up in Salesforce. So if you go to initial Slack setup, we have tons of steps here, but it's very easy to set up. Uh, we have to review, we have to agree the documents, we have to enable Slack for Salesforce. In this case, I'm using uh, Salesforce Cloud for uh, Slack. Um, I have uh, used the same for uh, Swarming. Uh, so I'm making use of Service Cloud for Slack here. And uh, you have to assign permission set. You have to verify um, whether uh, users can see record name and object type when, when, they, when the record displays in uh, Slack app. And we have to install uh, Slack in um, Salesforce app in uh, Slack uh, workspace. I'm not using uh, Sales Cloud, and uh, this is optional. You can customize the fields, and it also uh, requires uh, licensing. It is not a free feature. Um, so I have done all the steps. Please check my blog if you if you need steps to enable this and. Uh, uh, complete uh, all the uh, prerequisites. Uh, the the blog uh, link is provided in the video description. Okay, so I have created a simple flow here. For, um, it is a screen flow. First, I am making use of uh, uh, get uh, swarming collaboration tool uh, settings. Uh, you can click new action and in the new action uh, search for get swarming collaboration uh, uh, tool settings uh, uh, it is a core action um, it uh, in the main purpose of this is uh, it will get all the um, information that is required to post a slack message uh, for example the app id uh, the conversation id and other crucial information which are required uh, to post a slack message so the first uh, action what i have added is get swarming collaboration tool settings i haven't done anything i just called this uh, even in the advanced i'm not manually assigning it uh, i will make use of this uh, um, get swarming collaboration uh, uh, tool component in the other components so this is the first thing uh, to, so that uh, all the uh, required information will be loaded so make sure to add get swarming collaboration tool settings and the next step is uh, I, I added a screen uh, component and in the screen component i have added slack workspace selector here the important uh, yeah so here we don't yeah okay the here the important thing is we have to uh, send the or assign the slack app id so for that i'm using the collaboration app id from my get swarming collaboration tool settings the from the previous uh, core action i am making use of the collaboration app id the slack app id should be the collab collaboration app id from get swarming collaboration tool settings next i have added another uh, uh, screen component and in that i have added slack channel selector in the slack channel selector i am passing the slack app, app id as the same collaboration app id from get swarming collaboration tool and for the workspace id in the previous screen users would have selected a um, workspace so from the slack workspace selector i am getting the slack selected workspace id so if you go back here the name is slacks workspace selector from this i am getting the selected workspace id so this is very very important this is the same thing what we configured in the workspace selector and this is my channel selector next i added a simple screen component again and then i have added a text box so that i will get the slack input message so i have mentioned the label also with slack input message so that whatever information they enter i will just post it to slack
and uh, I'm making use of standard Salesforce Slack uh, send Slack uh, message core action in this uh, first important thing is slack app id so we know the slack app id is nothing but the collaboration app id from the get swarming collaboration tool settings the first core action component which we added from that i am getting the collaboration app id next is workspace so we already did the workspace uh, selector so from the slack workspace selector component i am using the workspace id i am executing it as slack app so I'm going to uh, I have already installed a slack for service in my uh, workspace so it will execute as that slack for app uh, um, whenever it posts the message conversation ID I am I'm selecting the uh, selected channel ID from the slack channel selector so I added a screen um, component and in that I had a slack uh, channel selector so from that channel selector I'm using the selected channel ID for the slack input message um, I am I'm using the variable uh, I'm not using the variable I'm just uh, using the text box value which uh, the user have entered and uh, I add uh, I have a record ID variable in my uh, flow which is an input uh, variable text type and record ID so that um, I can pass the record ID to my flow so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to I have created a quick action to call the screen flow so this is my new slack message flow I'm using a simple quick action on the case object and then I'm going to call this new slack message when I call this the record ID will be passed so that is the main purpose of this record ID it is case sensitive R should be in small letter and I should be in capital letter I have already added this particular quick action on my page layout so this is a sample case I already added this so first I have to select the workspace I have only one workspace so it automatically populated and I have multiple channels so I'm going to select the test to four channel next So I am entering testing slack message from salesforce flow if I click next it should send that slack message and then it should finish the flow so now let's go back to the slack testing slack message from salesforce flow so using this flow I was able to send slack message from salesforce flow for detailed steps and screenshots please check the video description i have shared uh, my blog post uh, which have uh, which have a link to other uh, core setup for this uh, slack for service also uh, so please uh, do check video description if you run into any issues I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.